Mm. It's crunch time here on the jump. Steve Kerr was asked if he's ever seen a scoring stretch like the one KD is on. Kerr replied, huh, there's this guy named Michael something. Can't remember his last name. Ever heard of him? Scotty, do you remember who mm. your former teammate's talking about? Uh, and do you think that's an apt comparison? Uh, yes. I mean, yes, because they're scoring a lot of points and they're not shooting threes. So yeah. oh. I, I definitely see the comparison. Very nice. I think in the, in the last four games, the stretch and the number of points that he's scored, it's him, MJ, Allen Iverson, and I don't remember who the fourth person was. I think it was me. Small, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but those both guys, the, the way they group. both create maybe without right? any help, that's why I think exactly. it's an I mean, right. that's the beauty and the yeah. fact that, you know, when they catch the ball in their sweet spot, you at the mercy. And obviously, KD can shoot over anybody in the league. Absolutely. Thunder GM Sam Presti said earlier today he anticipates Billy Donovan will return to coach the team next season. You think that's the right call, Jackie? I do, but what does anticipate? Why don't you just say you're bringing him back? Yeah, what does I that mean? I don't yeah, know. Billy Donovan is not the problem. He's a good coach. Uh -huh. And you've just got to figure out, going forward, how far will Russell Westbrook and Paul George take you? And it's, it's an interesting decision. I mean, part of it is, Scotty, how much of the keys do you hand to Westbrook at this point, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I think he's had the keys for quite a while. And obviously, they lost probably one of the best players in today's game mm -hmm. because he kept the keys too long. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe Mo we'll see. maybe Roberson could be healthy and help him. That would, that would make a difference, too. All right. Well, was reporting me. that the Timberwolves are interviewing our friend Chauncey Billups for their president of basketball operations job opening, Mr. Big Shot Caller. Shout out love to him for that one. Love him. Um, how desirable, though, is this job? Does Chauncey want this job? Don't do it, Chauncey. Don't do it. I'm telling you, your, your ownership is, in, uh, is, is a nervous thing. That's the best way I can put it. Just talk to KG before you do it. Talk to Kevin Love before you do it, and then make up your mind. Mm. Kate, Chauncey, this is going to happen for you. It just shouldn't happen here. Scotty, yes. I, no? I, I love it. I, you know, I love seeing ex players get into well, the that, game and I'm fine know, with that. You. And they, in that kind of role, right? Yes. Calling the shots I mean, for the he, whole he franchise. Got a great feel for sort of the thing. talent and still has a, a hand in the game, so he's still current in today's game with the players. Yep, absolutely. All right, let's end today's show by looking ahead to the action of tonight. Kawhi Leonard went off for a playoff career high 45 points in game mm. one. Do the Sixers have any answer for Kawhi, Scotty? You know what? They, they they should. I mean, you've got Jimmy Butler, and you got guys that can really guard him. And you know, I don't know why they they're having trouble with Kawhi because they have size, they have strength, they got guys that can match up with him. But he seems to be out playing him. Kawhi's pretty good. Thanks. He's very good. <laughs> so <laughs> is Jimmy Butler. And you know what? Talk about load management again. Is there anybody healthier and more ready to go than Kawhi Leonard, whether we like it or not, yeah, the way right. the Toronto Raptors you know, handled him during the year? Yeah, I mean, this is obviously going to be the challenge, and we knew that going in. He's making a case for being the best player in the Eastern Conference for right sure. now, being like, oh, you guys didn't Two remember because I took a quarter of the season off. Right. But he's right now in the playoffs... He and Giannis will have to see how the rest of these series go for both of them. Let's talk about the Nuggets and Blazers because they begin their series tonight. Ennis Cantor told Blazers beat reporters today he doesn't know if he will play tonight because of that separated mm. shoulder. That's huge because we, of yes. course, know that Nurkic is out. And on the other side, Nikola Jokic is burning it down. Yes. What do you guys think? Nuggets, Blazers in this series. Well, I, I think it's going to be tough, but I still think the Blazers... They, they have other big guys that they can throw out there if uh, Cantor doesn't play. So I, I like what CJ and um, Damian are doing out on the floor. So I don't care who don't play. All <laughs> those two show up. Give me the nuggets. Jokic is an <laughs> exceptional player. I saw Sabonis pass the ball. I saw Bill Walton pass the ball. He is in that category. He's one of the best bit passing big. And they're over the hump. The hump was first round. Can we go anywhere? Can we do anything? They're over that. He's got to get more Murray's aggressive. A lot of He's got to get more aggressive offensively if he wants his team to win. And Jamal it's Murray fair. has been hot and cold, right, exactly. so far? So it's going to be depending on how he I like the Nuggets' he, chances. He Give me the Nuggets. Up. So, <laughs> well, I'm not shocked that you're picking Portland, Scotty, first of all. But with the way that Damian well, like and CJ too. looked in the first round, what stood out to you the most there? Well, just the, the, the chemistry, how they have brought the other guys along the way. Um, you know, it's just really about them to really score in the basketball. But I think it's been about the other guys, uh, Amin, um, their, their bigs, Collins Marcus. coming off the bench. Uh, it's just been a collective effort and, you know, much credit to the coach, Terry Stotts. I was going to say, let's get a little love to Terry Stotts, who's been making this thing go. Yes. Nurkic, I thought they were done after yeah. Nurkic went out. Right. That just hasn't been the case. I give him a lot of props. I mean, look, people thought Dave Terry Willard's Stotts. Been so much 
job would be in danger if they didn't win around this postseason. They certainly won around, that's for sure.